Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry for today's video, I have a paper squishy, but it's a burrito. It also has some actual foil on it because I felt like I couldn't recreate that. So I thought, why not just put normal foil on it? Anyway, this video has been requested a ton of times since I did the taco squishy. Um, I I want in weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago now that I did that one. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it down in the description via a little link so you can click through and watch that as well. But yeah, a lot of people have requested a burrito one, so I have made it that today. And um, yeah, I hope you're staying at home, staying inside, staying safe and healthy as much as possible. And I'm just gonna get straight on into it. If you do end up making this, then be sure to tag me on Instagram and then I will repost you all my stories and add you to the highlights tab um, as a little link back to your account. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoy this video and it keeps you nice and busy whilst you're staying at home. So yeah, I'm going to get straight on into it now. <laughs> So as this is paper squishy week, the first thing that I took was a piece of paper. This is just regular printer paper and an A4 piece and I just folded it in half. Then I made this kind of like wave shape and started colouring that in with this kind of beigey brown shade of marker. I did it in like the direction that I wanted like the tortilla to look like it was folded over. So I did that and then I just added some details on with some little swirls and then decided to add the burrito filling at the top. So using the fine liner side of a brown pen I just did some outlines of like some onion pieces and then did a little kind of scalloped edge at the top to create the top of the kind of beef filling. I then added a swirl of green at the top to act as lettuce, some little beans in there and then I coloured the rest in in that brown just to kind of fill in the beef avoiding the bits where I put like the onions and everything like that. So once I had the filling all drawn out, I then took my scissors and just cut around the top and then cut down the side just to like make the burrito kind of size that I wanted. I then flipped it over and because I already had that like zigzaggy little swirly twirly pattern at the top, I was able to like work out where I wanted my burrito to start and finish. So I made like the tortilla bit in the same color and pattern as I did before and then just put the lettuce bit at the top and just forgot about the filling because I figured at the back that would be hidden by the lettuce anyway. So once that that bit was then done I just taped down the sides and then taped all the way around the bit that was like drawn on and then I managed to tape up the top so that it was all like sealed and everything so in order to tape that bit because it was kind of like wavy I just cut the tape and then wrapped it around in little bits so because I left the bottom of my squishy like open, I was then able to stuff from that end and then capture all the stuffing inside. So I did my usual kind of mix of the toy stuffing and the memory foam scraps, just filled it up in different layers, kind of alternating between the two. And then I just taped it up at the bottom, just using a whole load of sticky tape. Once that was done, I then took some actual kitchen foil, I folded it down at the top to make a nice edge and then folded it in and around the burrito just like you would any other burrito and then I just taped it down into place. Once it was all taped down, I then put a cute little face on the foil just using acrylic paint and a dotting tool. I made sure to actually flatten the foil as I was going to make sure that the paint would sit nice and flat. So as you can see here, I'm just like rubbing the foil just to make sure that it's nice and flat and then painting the design on. So I just did the face that I usually do, the little open mouth kawaii face with the highlights on the eyes and the blush either side of the eyes with the little kind of tongue in the mouth. And then once that was done, my squishy was then complete. So once all the acrylic paint and everything has dried on the foil, your squishy will then be complete. So this is a 360 off mine. I've actually done the design on the back as well. So I actually only coloured it to around about there because I didn't want to waste, you know, the pens. I didn't have to because the foil was going to be covering it anyway. And yeah, this is what it has turned out like. So I'm really, really happy with the way that it looks. I'm really like curious to know how it squishes because of this foil. So I'm just going to give it a go now. Actually, this squishes really, really nicely. Like, can you see that? Like, it is obviously a crinkly noise, but I kind of like it. It's kind of like one of those, like, crackle squishes. I'm actually obsessed with that. I think that's really cool. No, I think this may crack over time, but if it does, then you can just replace it or you can cover it in tape to see if that will protect it. I reckon that would. Um, 
but yeah really really happy with how this one has turned out hopefully you enjoyed watching this video like i said if you do end up recreating it be sure to tag me on instagram and i will repost you on my stories and that sort of stuff so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed today's video we'll stay tuned for tomorrow because we are still doing paper squishy week and um yeah i will see you very soon for another video bye